Hey guys, John here. Quick update to my week 14 knife making video where I made this blade. Uh, so I loved it. It had quite a few problems still, but I've been flipping it all day and it works awesome. And um, after about 18 hours since I finished it and put it together, about 18 hours later, I actually broke it. What broke was fairly interesting. The ball detent here snapped in half. You can see that little ball is now broken. Very interesting. Uh, several reasons caused that, I believe. Um, the hole that I drilled to pound this guy in there was uh, too small. I should have used a bigger drill bit. So I could only get it in uh, so far, meaning it was sticking out quite a lot. So sticking out a lot, maybe not supported as well as it could have been. Um, so I'll have to do that different next time. But I think the biggest culprit was these uh, these mistakes that I put here. Where one of my tools crashed and smashed into there. I think what I was trying to do was my... I was trying to put an easy groove in here, just like this. But made a mistake. Anyway, so the tool crashed there, made a nice big dent. So the ball... From the closed position, you give it a good preload, you flick it, and the ball goes dink, dink, and then out. So, I mean, it basically sheared it off. Um, so, to remove this piece of steel or stainless steel ball, whatever it is, from a titanium handle, we are going to use muriatic acid. Ideally, I would use ferric chloride, which I believe you can get at, like, a Radio Shack for etching um, circuit boards. But I have muriatic acid, and I know that it eat, that it eats steel, because um, I've used it for that before. So I'm gonna fill a little yogurt cup, just just a little bit, just enough to cover that ball. Don't wanna waste too much of it or have to dispose of too much of it. Um, baking soda will will neutralize it. So I'll use just a little bit, and then when I'm all done, I'll fill it full of baking soda and neutralize all of it. And then hopefully that'll dissolve the ball, and then I can press another one in there, and that way these handles are still useful. Uh, for when I make another blade, or I might fill in this blade with um, two-part epoxy or, or something. So that's been soaking for about, I don't know, like 36 hours or something? 24? I don't know. A long time in muriatic acid. And it didn't work at all. And it stripped the anodizing off. Which is very surprising. I thought titanium was impervious to all this crap. But anyway, and it, I think it might have etched the surface a little bit. It feels... I don't know, this side's super smooth, this side's stickier. But maybe just because it's clean. But, uh... Yeah, it took the color directly off. And my detent... Still there! What the heck? So I'll go buy some ferric chloride from... Apparently you can get it at Radio Shack or any electronics store. And... Try it with that. Weird. So, since muriatic acid did not work to get the ball out, and it totally screwed up my uh, anodizing, I'm going to use what everybody says to use, ferric chloride. I got this thing for about $12 or something, for what is this, a liter? Or a US quart? Um, at my local electronics store, uh, this place is like a Radio Shack on steroids, but uh, apparently Radio Shack has it too, and this much is probably going to last me forever. Uh, so, I have a little plastic container, look on the bottom, you see it's number 2. I know that 2 is chemical safe, it's what I use for all my other acids, So, and I believe this one is also number 2. So it's, I know that's going to be safe. I'm not sure if 4 or 5 um, work as well. But just to be safe, I'm gonna use the exact same, just, just because. So, uh, dangerous chemicals will kill you. Rubber gloves, chemical safe gloves, put your eyes on. And let's do it. I'm not sure how much this is gonna um, off gas and stink. So we'll find out. <laughs> Nice to see a child safe cap. Um, it's kind of 
thick. Oh, that's so yellow. Like inside, that's scary. <laughs> so apparently this will not do anything to the titanium. But will just destroy that little ball. So I put in just enough to cover the, uh, the handle. Looks like I got a drip right there, so I'm gonna wipe that off and throw away the towel. Man, it's like, uh, what's that stuff? Iodine? Yeah. It's that crazy iodine color. So putting my face over top doesn't seem to stink, but we'll see. I don't see any bubbles either. Let's see what, uh, what happens. It might take a while. Don't know. We'll leave it alone. Actually, I'll get my timer. Timer started. Just so that I can keep a record of how long it's in there. The other thing that just occurred to me is uh, this this little ball being a stainless steel. I don't know if that's going to um, react the same way to the chemicals, both the muriatic acid and this ferric chloride. Um, but then again, blade steels are stainless steel, and this is what everybody uses to etch those. So, I don't know. I'm learning. This is all new to me, so learning as I go along. So if I sound stupid or if you know more than me, then, you know, go easy on me. <laughs>